Hey, this is Mark. Mark is on Handyman. I thought I'd show you this. I was debating whether to make a little video on this stuff or not. I'd like to do a little more in-depth in on this and actually experiment. These are my squashes. I got zucchinis. I got three zucchinis. Uh, two different varieties. Um, those two over there are Black Beauty. And this one is Ford Hook Zucchini from Burpee. I think these Ford Hooks actually got a little better flavor. But here's what I wanted to show you. If you kind of focus in on this one leaf here. You can see that um, that it's got like silvery spots on it, silver on it. And the one year I've seen this coming up, I should have known better, but I thought, oh, that's kind of interesting. I don't know if that's something inherent to zucchini plants or not. Well, what that is, if you have this on your plants, it's going to be that powdery mildew, where your plants get all that white, it's a dull white coating all over your plants and your leaves die off. Not good for the plant at all. This was the first one to exhibit it. It's about the worst right now. This is a Ford hook. You can see a little doodad down there. These aren't a dark, quite as dark green as the other ones, but I think they got better flavor. They're kind of a nutty flavor. Anyway, getting back to the subject at hand. You want to nip this stuff in the bud. You can't really cure it once it's on the leaf. I'm kind of hoping at this stage it's going to stop it, but you can stop it. These here two had been holding off pretty good, but I noticed now today that the black beauties are getting it. There's, there's a leaf with some on it. And uh, it's not good for the plant. So what I'm doing right now is I'm spraying on a, a product called Soap Shield. Get that from Gardens Alive. Basically all it is is a copper-based fungicide, um, organic type, and uh, not too harmful to humans or animals, I guess, as far as the label says. Still have to be a little careful with it. Any of that stuff, even the natural stuff, you got to be careful with. And uh, those are yellow crooknecks over there. I'm not sure what's going on with that one there. It's got little specks on the leaves. If anybody does come across this video and knows what this is from, I would suspect it's from some kind of bug, although I can't find them on there. Could be flea beetles. It could be leaf hoppers, plant hoppers. Oh, well, maybe. There's some little black bugs on that one there. I don't know if you can see those or not. Maybe that's what it is. Huh? Is that a flea beetle? Find out fast enough. Just touch that thing if it jumps. Yep. Okay. So, if you got some other ideas, I'd like to hear them. But I think maybe that is the problem flea beetles. So, I think we'll keep this as short as possible. And uh, the experiment I would have liked to have done if I had more plants and had them spaced out further is I make my own colloidal silver. And uh, I'd really like to try that in comparison to these other products I use, or this other product I should say, it's the only one I use, Soap Shield, and see how the colloidal silver uh, would handle this. So, well, that's it for now. Signing off.